Okay, let's do this. So, we start the trailer off, and basically Plymouth Argyle over here is telling his little baby girl Sunny about a time when Earth Ponies, Pegasi, and Unicorns lived in peace and harmony. And so Sunny's like, yo, Dad. Why can't we be friends anymore? I don't know, dude. I'm not some freaking time traveler or nothing. I'm just your dad. Anyway, isn't that supposed to be the whole premise of this film that we're starring in right there right now? And Sonny's like, oh yeah. And so we jump cut to an indeterminable amount of time later in Sonny's life when she's going to work in the big city. And holy crap, they have mechanized transport in Equestria now. But, ladies and gentlemen, behind this facade of this pretty pastel pony paradise lies a scourge. A scourge so terrible that it will bring the strongest men to their knees and infect each and every one of us. Hi, new friend! That's right. Adore these. <laughs> we all have it now, and there's no turning back. Well, except for, you know... Unicorn attack! Oh, and everybody's going stir crazy too because there's now the dilemma of a new best pony. Is every pony playing hide and seek? I see you! <laughs> so adorable. Uh, just, just let me die. Also, there was this part. Your son is safe now, ma'am. This isn't my kid! Actually, lady, I'm the new G5 Scootaloo. Basically, every pony will think that I'm an orphan up until the last minute when my parents decide to show up after they realize that they've actually got a kid to look after. It's only a matter of time until they do get off their asses and come and look after me, but until that time comes, I'm just gonna go right ahead and call your mom. So then Sonny kidnaps Sizzy and is like, okay, stick-headed horse, show me what you got. You don't have any magic? What do you mean? That's what unicorns do. You're a unicorn. You make things disappear, cast magic spells, make things levitate, all that sort of stuff. You can do all that with your horn on your head that you have right there. Uh, I'm not a unicorn, and that's not a horn. It's a hemorrhage. Wait, what? Stay with me on this. So, you know in cartoons when a character gets a bump on that, a big lump comes up? Well, basically, I've done that big bean can trick so many times over the years that I've basically just got a big hemorrhage there, permanently. This sounds like the sort of thing you should talk to a doctor about, really, but whatevs. And so, after a short interlude of existential horror and depression... Ow. Our two friends, Sunny and Izzy Hemorrhage Head Moon Ribbon, head off to the Pegasus City to find a doctor. <laughs> Whoa, calm down, guys. It's only me, Princess Zippity Doo Da Zippity Day Storm, the new G5 Rainbow Dash, and I'm the tomboy element for this movie. We need your help. Are you a doctor? No, but I can get you one. Why? My friend has this massive lump growing on the front of her head. We think it might be some sort of hemorrhage through her frontal cortex, and it might be causing rapid irreversible brain damage. Honestly, we got a lot of slack to work with. I've had this horn for so long now that I've actually kind of grown numb to the pain. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not good. Hey, do you guys want to come and meet my sister for no apparent reason? Pony. Holy cow, guys, there's a hot new waifu on the scene in the form of Princess Pip Petals. Oh, sorry, uh, got it carried away there. Um, sorry, where were we again? Look at that face. You know what she wants. I can't wait to debut my new song. She apparently wants you to buy her records because she's a princess that's also a pop star because why not now some of you might be thinking the same thing i did when i first saw this trailer pip and zip are both princesses but neither of them is an alicorn don't go getting caught up in a whole tism dizzy because i'm all for equal opportunity that's great the thing is, alicorns are these mystical, astral, goddess-like creatures that are immortal and full of wisdom. Well, 
Most of the time, anyway, but... My point is, given the show's track record in the past for establishing alicorns as the only way of attaining ultimate monarchical and diplomatic power, then I pose this question to you, Princess Twiggly Wiggly Sparkle. What happened? Did you suddenly decide one day that alicorns weren't all they're cracked up to be and so make any pony and every pony a member of the royal family? Or did our old friends Flash the Bradnator Sentry have something to do with this? To be honest, none of that stuff that I just talked about even matters anymore. It's almost as if you can overanalyze these things to the point where it just becomes a load of gobbledygook. Furthermore, I don't even care anymore because on top of that, magical horsey twerks. Anyway, so pips like, darlings, homes, don't even trip. I got the solution to whatever your problem is. Humiliation. Yay, makeovers! I love makeovers. Gorgeous! Then somehow Hitch manages to humiliate himself even more, and on the way home, they overhear this frat dude who's like, Yo, I'm the best at DDR, and there ain't no pony you can beat me. Did he just say DDR? Yes, he did, Sonny. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is how far forward we come in the equestrian timeline. They've developed dance dance revolution, social media, motorized public transport, and they even still have disagreements between races. Basically, it's the same as our world, so congratulations, we all now live in Equestria. Well, that, in essence, was my review of the new G5 trailer. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video, but given that what was originally supposed to be a summation of the plot turned out to be way longer than the trailer itself, I'm guessing you didn't enjoy it. Let's just hope the movie is way better than this video was. Okay. <coughs> no, no. Uh, can I talk normally now?